friends and welcome to my YouTube channel on piping design. Um, I have taken this initiative to share with you the basic information in piping engineering and to clarify some basic fundamentals because what I have seen in my experience is that the new engineers which are coming up are very much relying on the softwares and uh, due to the project pace and uh, in the deliverable dates they are only focusing on what and when and they forget the why and how portion of piping engineering and that is very important so my this initiative would be to help you to understand the basic fundamentals of piping engineering which would definitely help you uh, in future for your career as well as uh, clarify some of the project specific issues so so today topic is uh, the selection of spring hangers for piping engineers this is very important normally we rely on softwares and what the software says to select we go with it uh, so i would like you i would like to share with you how to select it manually so let's move on So first of all, I would like to share you the why part, the why we are using the spring hanger. So I will give you an example here. Okay. So suppose we have a tank. This is the nozzle, and the pipe is uh, rooted like this. Okay. So now you can see this is 10-inch pipe with the operating temperature of 250 degrees Celsius and operating pressure. 60 bar now normally if we forget about a spring we need to support this pipe so based on our experience we will put the supports like this with a span of 9 meters suppose but you can see uh, this leg there will be a large amount of expansion in this leg uh, due to this operating temperature 250 degrees Celsius and this will try to expand like this but due to this support the pipe will not be able to expand and all the force will be on this nozzle so so we need some device which is uh, which can support this pipe and at the same time allows the thermal expansion to go so what we do is we replace this support with the spring hanger so the spring hanger will support the pipe as well as allow the pipe to expand so this is the reason we are using the spring hanger so now let's move on to the working of hangers this is very important part um, so suppose I would I just like to show you the basic principle how the hanger is actually working so suppose this is uh, this is the pipe and this is uh, supported uh, there is a hanger is placed now you see this pipe is going inside this uh, spring can and sorry this rod is going inside the spring can and here it is tied with the spring so this is the case when the pipe so, so, so when the pipe is moving down in the hot condition what is happening when the pipe is moving down it is compressing the spring okay the pipe is moving down in the hot condition and it is the spring is compressed here so it means the hot load is higher than the cold load because in cold condition in sustained condition the spring is in relaxed mode however in hot condition the spring is compressed so so the hot load is more than the cold load when the pipe is moving down in hot condition so we take an example uh, take a case of uh, when this pipe is moving up 
so when the pipe is moving up the spring you can see is pre-stressed the spring is pre-compressed and in hot condition the spring is relaxed so here what you see is the hot load will be lesser than the cold load because in the cold condition the spring is compressed so in hot condition the spring is relaxed so here we can see pipe is moving up in hot condition and spring is relaxed so hot load is lesser than cold okay so now we'll move on to the selection of spring hanger here i will show you some calculation which is required uh, prior to going to the catalog so i'm uh, talking about the inputs what input we need from the stress calculation so two inputs are very important uh, rather we need two inputs from stress calculation one is the hot load in normal operating case uh, you must have uh, seen the stress load cases there is sustained normal operating and other earthquake and wind cases so we we need to take the hot load from the normal operating load case then we need the travel in vertical direction and also we need the direction is it going up or is it going down so after getting these two informations the first step in calculate in selecting the spring hanger is to calculate the spring rate and you can see this formula spring rate is variability into hot load upon travel so i will show you uh, how to calculate in a, in an example later but first you uh, note down this formula the spring rate is equal to variability into hot load upon total travel and now the select and um, now the spring rate which need to be selected in the catalog should be lesser than this calculated spring rate so the spring rate you need to I'll, I'll show you how to do it um, okay so going to the next step step 2 is select the column in the catalog where the hot load appear in the mid mid range so I'll show you an example here the operative for example operating load uh, from stress calculation we are getting 6 kilonewtons or 6000 newton travel is 15 mm up variability is 25 percent so we can calculate the spring rate as variability <clears throat> this is now 25 upon 100 i have done so it's 0 0.25 into 6000 upon 15 so 100 newton per mm so this is the calculated spring rate 100 newton per mm now we are going to the catalog here there is a table you will find in any catalog whatever you are using um, this is the load area this is the load in kilonewtons mentioned here this these are the hangers hanger numbers uh, which the manufacturing manufacturer is giving to you and this is this is the travel range uh, so you can see the one number spring type has lesser travel range so from one load to other it is only moving 2.5 however you can see in the second case from one load to the next load it is traveling 5 mm and so on 10 15 20 so we have to keep our limit till these three one two and three because these four and five are very costly we, we do not actually go uh, to select this because this costs too much all right so as per our example we are getting operating load of 6000 newtons that is 6 kilonewton so we will see where the 6 kilonewton is lying in the mid range mid range means in the middle of the column so you can see here we are finding the 6 is the idle position so we got our column that so this is the column right and the spring rate was calculated as 100 newton per mm so we need to select the select the lesser lesser than the calculated one so here if you see the lesser is 66.6 .6. 
so now we have selected this and this column now we can go here and we found that this is our travel range where we need to select so three things we have selected based on the based on our calculation and the inputs from Caesar or stress uh, this this and this now we know the hot load so and the, and the travel was 15 mm up and as I mentioned earlier then that when the pipe is going up the core load will be higher means the hot load will be lesser than the core load so core load higher means we have to move down to check whether the core load is within this range within the range of the travel or not so we have selected 40 and now we have moved down 15 mm that is our travel so we end up with 55 and we can see the core load 7 kN is also um, within the range okay so for now the butt spring hanger so we are all conditions are met so we can go ahead with us to choose the spring hanger as 254 this dot means this numbers so 2 Two five four two one eight or two one four two one eight. So this is the ideal spring angle we can choose. All right. So moving to next steps. Step three is I was saying that uh, the core load is seven kilonewtons, but we can calculate this also. So the step three is ensure that our core load lies within the working range of spring core load can also be calculated as if pipe is moving up the core load is operating load plus travel into spring rate and if pipe is moving down the core load is operating load minus travel into spring rate okay so core, so if pipe is moving down the core load is less and pipe is moving up core load is higher so in this case core load is if we calculate because our pipe is moving up um, so operating load is 6000 plus 15 that is our travel into spring rate which is now from the catalog so this is 7000 newtons coming and this is the same value which is coming from the catalog also so everything is matching now we can go ahead with the uh, spring type the spring number we can order for that all right and step 4 is because at sometimes the conditions do not match if suppose the movement was more then the core load may be not lying within this range if it doesn't lie within this range uh, and it is coming somewhere here also then we need to switch to the next travel range so we will go with uh, 214 318 in that case if the core load is not fitting into in this range so the step 4 was if the core load lies beyond the travel range of spring then switch to the next higher spring size or next travel range okay so I hope uh, um, your doubts are clear now Thank you so much uh, and I would like you to please like and subscribe to my video because I will keep on uh, coming with new topics uh, which would be very helpful for your uh, understanding. Okay, thank you.